Hello, my name is David T, Technical Marketing Engineer at Nutanix, and today we're going to talk about how you get Nutanix error installed. The first way is we're going to upload the image through Prism Element and then create a VM from that image. The second way we do this is using Calm through Prism Central to get the VM set up and running on your Nutanix cluster. So let's dive right in and see how it's done. To do the install with Prism Element, you can get the file onto your Nutanix cluster two ways. You can download it, or if your cluster has access to the internet, you can copy the direct link that is provided in the Nutanix portal. Once you have downloaded the file for ERA, or have copied the link, you would go to Settings, Image Configuration. If you've downloaded the file, you would choose that location. I'm going to copy the link I got from the support portal. Once I have pasted that link into the correct section, I will give the image a name so I know what it is. You can also do this in Prism Central through its image service. Once the image is ready in your image service, you can create the VM. The error user guide says you should have one vCPU with a single core and 16 gigs of RAM. Next, you will add a new disk. You will select Clone from Image Service, then choose the image you uploaded from your Prism element, then click Add. Next, you will need to add a network interface on the VLAN you want error to live on. If you're using DHCP, you can stop here. However, if you want to set a static IP, the user guide has a script you can use. Select Custom Script and copy the script in with your IP address information, then click Save. After a few seconds, your VM should be good to go. I'm going to search for it and power it on. The VM should come up pretty quick. You can browse to that static IP you set or find the IP it is using in Prism Element if you selected DHCP. Once you browse to that IP, you will accept the user agreement and set a new admin password. From there, you will log in with the new admin password. You will need the cluster virtual IP address from the cluster error residing on and a login with administrative rights. Then choose the storage container you want error to use and click Save. You do not have to set a network profile now, so you can click Create Profile later. Error will then finish its setup in the background downloading any out-of-the-box database engines that come with ERA. When the setup status changes to Done, you can click Get Started and start using ERA right away. So now let's do the installation with Nutanix Calm. You will still need to download and import the ERA image into Prism Element or Prism Central. However, after that, you can get the blueprint for installing ERA from the Nutanix dev site. Click on the GitHub tab to get a link to the Nutanix GitHub where you can download the ERA server deployment blueprint. Once you've downloaded the blueprint, you need to go into Prism Central, and then Calm. Then you can upload the blueprint from where you saved it on your hard drive. You will need to give the blueprint a name, select the default project, and then click Upload. Now that the blueprint is uploaded, click on Discard Changes. The first thing we're going to do is edit the credentials. Let's set the error admin password and the Prism Element credentials, which again need to be user with admin rights to the Nutanix cluster. Then upload the private key for the ERA CLI, which you can use for SSH access to the ERA appliance, then click Save. After you save, this will take you to the Blueprint editing screen. Now you will need to click on ERA under Service on the lower left. This will open a screen on the right where you need to set the network the ERA appliance will use and where you need to choose the ERA image you downloaded from the support portal. Once those are set, click Save. Now you can click on Launch. Provide a name for the application. This blueprint is set to use DHCP for getting an IP address, but it can be set up to use a static IP. Once you provide a name, click Create, which will then start the deployment. When the provisioning screen comes up, you can click on Audit to watch the progress of the deployment. When the deployment shows Finish, click on Services to get the IP address of the error appliance. You can put your mouse over the IP address and copy it to the clipboard. Then copy the error IP address into a new browser window. When the login screen comes up, you can log in with the admin password you set in the Calm Blueprint. ERA is ready to use, however it may still be downloading in the background the out-of-box database engines that come with ERA. I hope these two options help you with getting ERA set up. If you'd like to try out ERA in real time, you can head over to Nutanix Test Drive and it can be tried out over there. Thank you for watching.